you are revealed to be getting in touch with your feminine side. So that be personally or the musical? Yes. The musical we're talking about, right? <laughs> yes, it's okay, the, yes yeah. the musical. Yeah, yes. so I, <laughs> I play a character called Hugo who helps uh, Jamie New, played wonderfully on stage by Leighton Williams, who is a, the guy's a star in the making, but he's playing uh, Jamie New and I'm his mentor and I run a drag couturiers called Victor's Secret and I kind of help him on his journey to becoming a, a drag queen. Uh, and so the first time you see me on stage, I'm playing Hugo, I'm in the normal dress. And then I literally have 19 minutes yeah. from when I walk off stage to get into my drag queen, Loco Chanel. And I, and I strip off down to my, <laughs> my pants and my fishnets. Yes. Uh, You've got those on under I've your got towers. them into my fishnets. And then I put the costume on and then the makeup goes on. And I literally walk down to the side of the stage and put on the five inch heels. And bang And you're doing stage. it in heels? Yeah, and I'm yeah. the first one, apparently. I've been told they're uh, the first loco that's wearing five-inch heels. I've got calves of steel right So how did you practise? Because not a lot of men can cope with heels. Well, funny enough, I knew I was doing this show when I was uh, filming EastEnders. We were filming myself and Jesse filming the Christmas storyline, and I knew then I was going to be uh, playing a Sheffield drag queen. <laughs> it's so weird just saying it. Do you uh, do that in a Sheffield accent? Yeah, I do. We had a, yeah, we had a Dalek coach and she helped us out and, uh, yeah. Wow, you see, now that is impressive uh, because obviously everybody knows you as Alfie, everybody yeah. knows you with a sort of... And it's of... funny, there's a big difference between a Lancashire accent and a Yorkshire accent. Uh, and, uh, you know, in the past I've just done a generic northern accent, but Sheffield yeah. is very back of throat, you know. Uh -huh. So I talk as you go, uh, drag couturiers to stars. So you're going to knock yourself out, lad. So you, the way you, you, it. you talk a bit like Keith Lemon, actually. Do I? Yeah, through <laughs> Keyhole. Through Keyhole. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a Bolton boy, though, isn't he? No, I think he's from, I think he's from Leeds. Is he? Yeah. Oh, OK. Well, I'm so from Sheffield. The, the whole thing is based on the true story of Jamie Campbell. We were saying, we're saying we've interviewed yeah. him here a couple of times, and this was about him. He came out when he was 14 years old. Mm. But... The, the story really isn't necessarily about being no, gay, is it? It's no. about being different. And, it's, and when I saw it, when I was uh, approached about doing it, when I got the phone call, about my manager said, how do you fancy playing a Sheffield drag queen? At that point, I thought, OK, I need to change my management. <laughs> um, but then I went to see the show, and it's, and it's interesting, because uh, I, when I'd heard about the show, I thought, oh, is it a show about a young boy coming out? And in the first four minutes of the show, the character... Jamie says, oh, I'm gay, get over it. And it's not a show about coming out. Mm. It's a show about someone daring to be different and diversity. And that's what I absolutely love about it. Do you relate to that? Today? Yeah, Where very much so. in teenage years or...? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, being... F I left home at, what, I, th I think I just turned 15. And, you know, I ran away and kind of joined the circus. I was an actor, you know, and then went to work on a holiday camp. So uh, I understand I, I wanted to be different. And it's not until you look back now and you think how romantic it was. Of course, it wasn't. <laughs> but interesting about this show, the ensemble. Every show I've done in the past, there's been an ensemble. In this, there isn't. Everybody on stage is part of the story. I'm absolutely loving it. And being back in the West End, last time I was there was Boogie Nights at the Savoy Theatre in 99, I think it was. And then, uh, you know, I went off and I toured and did the dramas and blah, blah, blah. So getting back in the West End and knowing where I'm going to be, you know, I get the train, I can be there sometimes in the morning for the school runs, albeit in yeah. heels, it's not the same. Um, <laughs> so the kids seen you, do you practice at home? I did, heels? at Christmas. What did the kids make of that? <laughs> My daughter's just freaked out. <laughs> uh, they're coming to see the show tomorrow for the first time. So at the And moment, how old are they? They're at uh, eight and ten. My, right. my 12 year old's already seen it. Shane and Jake, my oldest boy, Jake has seen yeah. it because he's friends with a lot of the cast. But I'm slightly concerned about my eight and ten year old daughter seeing their yes. daddy in a dress. And I know they're concerned as well. <laughs> my wife's used to it. You know. <laughs> Does Christy, what, what's her view? <laughs> she's used to what's her view? What's her view of it? Are you any more attractive dressed as a woman than you are as a man? You know what? When I, when I got. When I... <laughs> <laughs> when I got offered the job and, and I sat down with the director, the one from Jonathan Butler and the designer, and they said, you know, I said, I want to try and bring something new to play in a drag queen, because my dad used to run clubs. You know, my dad was Irish and he had clubs in London. And, and as a 19, 18, 19, I, I toured with drag queens and strippers. So I was aware of this world and occasionally I'd compare at Madame Jojo's in the late, I, late 80s, early 90s. So I was aware of this world I was about to inhabit. So, and I sat down with the designer, I said, I want to dress... <laughs> <laughs> where my mates would 
come and see this show and go, you know, after a couple of beers, I would. <laughs> quite, quite like you. That was, quite, that was always in the back of my head. You Sadly, none of them have come up on the offer. No, not no. yet. <laughs> uh, but that was always in the... <laughs> So, Eamon, when you come and see the show, cut the beers later. Believe me. Every, I'm dying to see the show. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? Um, I'm dying to see the show because literally everybody I know who's seen it comes out raving about well, it. Well, Glenn Close has been to see it. Yes. Yeah, I was yeah. funny enough. She came to the open, our, our press night last Monday and I was chatting to her backstage and she all she wanted to do was talk about uh, my makeup, but it's a show that just keeps giving, and it is, and it is a beautiful show about diversity, and it really rings true in this day. And yeah, day. and I'm thrilled for Jamie Campbell because it's his story. Yeah, and he's a lovely um, guy. So you're in that until May the fourth. Yep. Um, and then what? EastEnders, because we don't know where you are. We don't, Alfie, we don't, I thought you're, you're dead sure. in EastEnders. Well, well, you're back off. No, um, you, fell, you was pushed down the stairs or fell yeah. down the stairs, and then his body disappeared. But 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 Cat did get a text. That's right. We're not From, sure if it's actually you, are we? I'd like to think it is me. It said, Cat, keep the faith. So, you know, they've left the door open. And I know Kate Oates, who's there now, is a wonderful exec producer. And, you know, and she's bringing in some wonderful new characters and great storylines. And I hope there's a, a chance for Alfie to come back one day. Well, you know, the trouble with you and texts is no one answers them. No, now <laughs> let me take, pick you up on that, right? <laughs> let me tell you, everybody. He sits here, oh, like the old angelic old Eamon Holmes, he's had bubble mouth. How long have I known you? Best part of 25, 30 years now. I've gone, I've got a big press night. Do you fancy coming along, seeing the show with your lovely wife, uh, Shane? <laughs> Nothing. I Not mentioned Man United. He's all over me like a rash. <laughs> what a night last night. Oh, great, wasn't it, eh? What a night. Yeah. Anyway, brilliant. Why are you today? Yeah. Have lots of uh, great and the hips nights. are working. The hips are working. Just don't Still. stand next to a radiator, because they melt, don't they, apparently? Just catch him, let's side a radiator like that. Oh, he's gone down, he's gone down. One of them's gone. Everybody's talking about Jamie. Yeah, it's right? at the Apollo Theatre, Shaftesbury Avenue in London. Ruth, you can do better, May seriously. the 4th. You see me in a dress, <laughs> you'll forget about him in an instant, all right? <laughs>